Have you ever seen one of these big blue trucks along the side of the road on some of South Carolina's busiest highways? Brian O'Kane is the last original member of the Knights in Blue Armor. All right, sir, release the brake. 2016 marks 20 years since Shep began patrolling to help drivers along the Palmetto State's roadways. O'Kane is the only driver that's been along for the entire ride. When SCDOT launched the program in spring 1996, the Columbia native was an intern in the Richland County Construction Office. When he heard about the new program, he wanted to jump in, and for two decades, he stuck with it. Within about 30 minutes of our trip, which began at about 3.30 on a Monday afternoon along I-126 and I-20 in Columbia, we found a man and his daughter on their way to dance practice. Their tire had gone flat at the intersection of SC-277 and I-20, a very dangerous place for a disabled car. O'Kane's first task is to make sure everyone in the vehicle is safe. Since neither occupant is injured, he asked the father to back his car to a safer area along the highway shoulder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back my truck up just a little bit, and I'm going to let you back up a little bit to get over where just basically those two tires over there are still on the asphalt. Once the car is a safe distance away from the highway, O'Kane goes to work changing the tires if he were a one-man NASCAR pit crew. Within 10 minutes of our arrival, the passengers are on their way. Before O'Kane and I got back on our patrol around Columbia, I asked him to describe the feeling he gets just from helping someone back on their way. So whenever you were getting him fixed up and you saw him be able to take off and just get do something simple like take his daughter to practice, dance practice, how does that make you feel? That makes me feel good that I was able to get them back on their way in a, in a fairly limited amount of time and um, you know allow them to um, continue on their way in a safe manner. He tells me drivers are grateful Shep is around. They're generally very appreciative of the program and um, you know, usually always glad to see their, their tax money at work. When O'Kane began driving with Shep, he decided he wanted to stay a part of something special. Shep is very special to folks like Linda Swanson who just moved to Columbia from Mississippi. She knows only just a few people around town and has no one to help her with her van that was overheating on I-126 on a day when the highs were in the upper 80s. Heaven. It's just heaven. I was actually surprised. I didn't know you guys just stop and help anybody. Like he's done so many times before, O'Kane got her car filled with emergency coolant to let the van's engine cool enough until she could move it safely out of harm's way. And since he's logged so many miles and seen so many highway calamities since Shep began serving the public 20 years ago, I asked Brian for his thoughts on how drivers can keep our roads safe. Watch out for law enforcement, watch out for other first responders, fire department, EMS, anybody working on the side of the roadway. Um, they all have families and want to go home after their shift. I also asked O'Kane to tell me about the success of the program of which he made his career. I knew whenever I started with Department of Transportation, um, I wanted to commit to it. Um, and make a career out of it. Um, so yes, um, that was that was my goal. 